Hello Aquarius and Cross Watchers. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading for June 10th to June 16th of 2019. If this reading resonates with you, please be sure to hit the like button and just click on the red subscribe button on the bottom left hand side of the video. If the reading does not resonate with you, please keep in mind it is a general reading. It is not meant for everybody. Um, and to also check your moon rising and Venus sign, okay? I am taking personal readings right now. It is $10 off um, your first reading for all my subscribers. And also I will be choosing one subscriber a month for a free full 60 minute reading on both love uh, money and career. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. You can find the information on booking up a personal reading on the description box below. You can check out my website at www.thetowerofflight.com. Okay, so what do we have for Aquarius? June 10th to June 2nd, 2019. Love messages for Aquarius. Love messages. All right, so we have some fire here. We have um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. We do have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have some Earth here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Okay, Aquarius, so the underlying uh, energy of the deck here is the star, which is great. I mean, we have some hope coming in here. I know um, last week was a little bit of a rough, you know, this week is a little bit of a rough week for you, but we do have some hope, some, some hope coming into the situation here. So we're starting off here with the... Um, the lover's card okay so the lover's card obviously can be a soulmate connection a deeper commitment this could be uh somebody that you're very you know you may be living with and a deep commitment with possibly even engaged to um the trouble here is that we are clarifying this with the five of pentacles okay aquarius so somebody feels left out in the cold here maybe there was a little bit of uh either physical separation or emotional separation um there's definitely something going on here uh the lover's card can also stand for decisions so maybe there was a decision was made and someone's you know decided to cut the other person off um now here we have the three of wands being clarified by the Queen of Wands. Okay, so the Three of Wands is going to be fire energy, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Aries energy. And the Three of Wands is um, basically deciding what you want, okay? It's making the decision on, um, you know, if you want to grow with this person or not, okay? Again, it is a distance card also. Um, you know, so again, there might be some emotional separation here, or maybe you're separated from your person physically and you want to travel with them, or maybe, you know, this person feels distant to you and you do want to communicate with them, um, but you're just trying to figure out how. Okay, now this is being clarified by the Queen of Wands. So this could be your person, Aquarius. Okay, it could be you or your person, um, a very fiery, passionate person. Uh, the Queen of Wands is a no-nonsense type of person, very nurturing, caring, motherly type of person. Uh, again, we do have a lot of fire energy here, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Aries energy, okay? Now here we have the Four of Swords, the Four of Swords being clarified by the Page of Swords, okay? So this is going to be air energy, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, and this tells, I feel like this is your energy right now, Aquarius, you are mentally tired, you are just mentally tired. Okay, and the page of swords, um, you know, can be, you know, that you want to reach out to this person that, you know, you want to, uh, you know, communicate with this person. But I do feel like um, either you're going to be going towards this person or they're going to be coming towards you with 
a little bit of conflict here. That it's not going to be easy to communicate with this person, okay? Because swords is conflict. It is a, you know, truth, lies. Um, you know, when they come at you, maybe they're upset over a lie that was told or something like that. I just, I have this energy of, you know, you're tired because every time you try to communicate with this person, they kind of put their sword up against you. You know, they get very defensive, I feel. Um, or again, this can be vice versa, Aquarius, okay? Now, here we have the Judgment card, okay, the Judgment card, which is uh, great news. I mean, this is a card of second chances. Um, it does signify the past, so maybe something was done in the past and your person cannot let go of it, or vice versa. Um, but the, I do see a second chance here. Um, and the Fool here is new beginnings, and it, it does mean risks. But I feel like, you know, being that it's been clarifying the judgment card, I do feel like there's some type of new beginning coming here, Aquarius, okay? Um, so maybe something was done in the past and your person is having some trust issues or vice versa. Maybe they did something to you and you're having some trust issues. Um, but I see a little bit of separate, emotional separation here. But I mean, you know, second chances are coming into play. So... We do have the lovers here, again, being clarified by the hanged man. So this tells me, definitely tells me that there's some type of separation going on here. I, again, it's either emotional or physical separation, but what, someone is just kind of waiting around. You see the, 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 the hanged man there just hanging around, just waiting around to see what, what's going to happen, what decision is going to be made, all right? Now, the, um, the three of wands is being clarified by the strength card. Okay, so again, the Three of Wands was like a decision that had to be made, that separation that you guys are going through, again, whether it's, um, you know, emotional or physical separation. Uh, now, the Strength card tells me that either you or your person are trying to deal with this. The Strength card is like a Beauty and the Beast card, okay? It's like you're trying to deal with the situation in a different way than you normally would. You're not trying to bulldoze your way into a situation or bully someone into doing things the way you want them to do. You're trying to handle the situation with kid gloves. Now, again, this could be you or it could be your partner, okay, that they're coming towards you, um, you know, in a delicate manner. But somebody is trying to handle this situation in a more controlled and graceful manner than what they normally would, okay? Now, here we have the Four of Swords, which is being clarified by the High Priestess, okay? So the Four of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, this is the real need for mental rest. You're mentally tired of the situation. Like, you've really just... You're just tired, you know, and, and the high priestess is, um, you know, prayer, intuition, uh, you know, trying to, to grow spiritually as a person, which I think is where the strength card comes in also. You're trying to handle things differently. You're trying to look at, you know, prayer and, and, and just, um, you know, growing spiritually and maturing as a person to handle this situation. And again, this can be vice versa. Now, the judgment card is being uh, clarified by the temperance card. Okay, we have a lot of uh, major arcanas here. So the temp the judgment card, again, we said was second chances, okay? Um, you know, maybe something that happened in the past. And the temperance card means that it's going to be balanced out, okay? So whatever happened in the past, whatever second chance is coming in, okay? Again, maybe somebody got hurt in the past and they're just not letting go of it. Um, it's saying that it's going to balance out. This person is going to start to balance, you know, the relationship is going to start to balance out from it, okay, and there, there might, the separation may end, let's see if we have any reconciliation here, so we do have the five of pentacles being, um, being clarified by the justice card, so Aquarius, I mean, maybe you were the one being left out in the cold here, or maybe you left your person out in the cold. But either way, we do have justice coming in. You will be getting treated fairly at the end of this. Maybe you messed up in the past and this person is really holding a grudge way longer than they need to be. Um, and it's caused a little bit of separation for you guys. But you are going to get fair treatment here. Maybe, you know, you, you did something wrong and you've been good ever since. And, you know, really it's time now for them to let it go or vice versa. Okay. But someone is going to be getting uh, treated fairly here. Now, the Queen of Wands is being clarified by the Ace of Cups. Okay, Aquarius, that's great, all right? So either you're going to be going towards this Queen or this Queen is going to be coming towards you. And again, gender doesn't matter here, Aquarius. So whether you're male or female, the point here is either you're going to be going towards your person with new beginnings in love and prosperity or they're going to be coming towards you with a new beginning, all right? Now, here we have the um, 
Page of Swords being clarified by the Three of Pentacles. And I feel the energy that I'm getting from this is, remember how I said that, you know, if you try going towards your person, they kind of put a sword up. And if they try coming towards you, you put a sword up, whether it's, you know, that's the situation or vice versa. I feel like this is what, you know, this stands for a third party here. I feel like, you know, this is you, this is your person. And whatever this situation is that was causing this emotional separation or physical separation, whatever was standing in between you two is eventually going to even itself out okay you're going to get a second chance from this and eventually this is going to die down and you guys can come together again now we have the fool here being clarified by the five of swords okay so again we have new beginnings and the five of swords is someone who basically just got done fighting and someone walked away and that per the other person wants to keep fighting for the relationship. So whether it's you, Aquarius, or your person, somebody you know, still wants this relationship, okay? Even though there's been a lot of fighting, even though there's been separation, even though there's been you know, a lot of strife happening here, um, I mean, some you, know, you guys do love each other. You have the lover's card here. There is love there. There is deep commitment. There is a soulmate energy. You guys do love each other, Aquarius, okay? So this is telling me that, you know, I mean, there's a new beginning after the, the all of this argument happening uh, you know there is one person that walked away one person that still wants to fight for it but with this ace of cups here i mean I, I, cups represents love relationships i mean if you're going to have a, a, an ace in any love reading the ace of cups is definitely the one that you want now cups again is water energy we have cancer scorpio pisces here um so we can be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but I mean, that is, um, you know, I, it seems like you guys are coming out of a hard time here, Aquarius, and it looks like things are going to get better. So under the stars here, okay, under the star, we do have the Ten of Pentacles, which is beautiful, okay? The Ten of Pentacles is... Um, you know, two people that are coming together, you're going to have an abundance of money, an abundance of love. Um, you know, I mean, you guys... I really do think it's going to work out. You got the lover's card here. You guys do have, um, you know, love, but there is going to be a lot of something happened. Something happened in the past where somebody got hurt, possible emotional disconnection, someone walked away. But there is a chance here, even though, you know, you guys are tired, even though, you know, one person walked away, there is a chance here that you guys can recover from this. Okay, let's go ahead and get some clarity here. What messages do we have for Aquarius, June 10th, June 16th, 2019? What advice do we have for Aquarius? What advice do we have for Aquarius, June 10th, June 16th, 2019? What advice do we have for Aquarius? 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 Okay. So the underlying energy here, uh, Aquarius, is free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life, okay? Which ties into the Four of Swords, Aquarius. Um, you know, you have to let it get some mental rest. You've been really, like, this has been really troubling you. So I'm not, this doesn't tell you to free yourself from the relationship, but it does tell you that you need some mental rest from it, okay? Flirt with each other. Okay, go back to being happy and playful with each other. Extend your lighthearted energies to others. Okay, so there has been a lot of, you know, strife here, a lot of emotional distance. And, you know, they do say laughter heals everything. Okay, so try flirting with each other again, Aquarius, getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay, again, there's a lot of emotional disconnection here. Someone, I feel like someone got hurt or something happened. So you guys need to open up to each other again and and you know let those feelings flow and 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 you know whether it's a painful emotion or a good emotion you guys need to let that flow here we have finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life life right now again you know we do have the ten of pentacles here so um you know like i said maybe we're having some issues with money maybe somebody feels you know being a little taken advantage of with money or whatnot but i do show that it's going to get better here that we have the star card here with the ten of pentacles okay so i mean it looks like finances should be increasing here which hopefully will help the situation within your relationship aquarius okay well i hope you enjoyed your reading please be sure to like if you did and again uh if you just click on the red subscribe button 
button on the bottom left hand side underneath the video. Any future videos that I post will just pop up on your YouTube feed. Thank you so much for tuning in guys. Take care.